Hi guys, welcome to another video. My name is Nifon Tui and on this channel I make strange tutorials. Um, I post new videos every Wednesday and Saturdays. In this video I'm going to give you guys tips on how to make a smoked Ankara dress. Alright, so you guys have seen the thumbnail already. Um, if you like the video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to um, share it if you like the video. If you're a beginner or you're a person that wants to just brush up on your skill, I have online courses um, that can help you with that. I'll be showing a demo how to uh, make a jumpsuit for you to watch and decide if learning online will be convenient for you if you're interested please send a whatsapp message to the number that you can see on the screen thank you to every person that has subscribed that has been here from day one thank you to my new subscribers you're welcome i'm very very grateful for the support that you guys have shown me over the past couple of months um, i started this channel in january and we've grown to almost 50,000 subscribers in less than a few in less than a year which is um something that is very 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 difficult to do on youtube so it's can only it's only thanks to um you guys thank you for watching my videos anyway not before i start getting emotional i'll see you guys in the next video have a lovely day bye bye all right you guys are welcome to another video uh, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a smoked Ankara dress. Now, you, uh, you've seen the thumbnail already. Uh, initially, I wasn't going to make this video. I, I didn't have this video in my um, plans. But one of you, one of my viewers reached out to me uh, over the weekend and asked um, what was the right amount of allowance or what, al no, what is the amount of allowance that I use when I'm making smoked dresses. And then I'm like, what, what the hell? Even if it wasn't in the plan, I should just put out the video because I know that a lot of you like um, projects like this that are simple fast uh, and easy to make all right so you guys can see the dress that we have um, here uh, this is an example of what we're making this is a smoked um, dress a smoked and correct dress you can notice the um, strands of um, elastic thread that we have running through the body now I'll show you guys how to you know um, thread your shuttle to be able to do something like this and you know also how to wind the elastic thread around the shuttle because there's a technique you have to use in order so that you don't run into problems when you're trying to make something uh, like this okay so you guys can see what we have here um, this is another example of um, it here but it's basically the same thing so the front and the back is the same from what we can tell because obviously there is no zipper so the front and back will be the same you just have to add um, enough allowance so that it can pass through the hip and all the way up to the top all right so uh, let's get to it okay so now with that in mind before we begin when you start making a smoked dress the first thing you you want to do is you want to keep enough allowance it's not ankara dress okay that's that the elastic runs from top to bottom because there are different variations there's the one where it covers only the top part of your body and then the bottom part is just free now i handled that differently but for something like this this is how i'm going to go about from for something like the image that i've shown you guys so now the first thing is we're going to come to the very top all the way up there and we're going to mark four inches of allowance from top to bottom oh, most mark four inches there four inches here all the way down and when i'm done marking out um, my four inches all the points i have i'm going to run a line from the bottom of the paper connecting all the dots together Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have to draft a regular pencil dress. Now if you've been on the, on the channel before, you guys know how, how, how um, it goes. Alright, so I'm going to come from here. Okay, and then I'm going to now mark all my vertical lines. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come from the very top here and I'm going to place everything. So I'm going to come from here and we are going to mark... Um, I'm going to mark the under bust length. The under bust length is 13. The bust sits as 9. That's from the bust points. Um, then I'm going to place the uh, draw line at the half cut. I'm going to use the half cut to find the hip. So after the half cut, I'm going to count. Okay. I'm going to count 8 inches down. And I'm going to place the hip at 8 inches after the half cut. So this is the bust. This is the under bust around the half cut. And then I'm going to use that to find the hip. And then I'm going to mark my dress length. My dress length is 36 okay so i'm going to come to the end here i'm going to come to 36 over here and i'm going to make a mark okay and after we've made a mark there the next thing is just to roll the line so i'm going to mark this d l so you guys don't get confused so that's the dress length okay and then i'm going to draw a line here this is this is the hip 
okay now i'm going to ignore this line this uh, this um half cut points that i marked here was supposed to help me find my hip so i'm going to ignore it and i'm going to come to the underboss length okay if you come to the underboss length draw a line if you come to the boss line and roll a line there as well okay so this here i'm going to, I'm going to place the boss measurements okay this one which this is the under boss length okay this line here is my hip line okay now um with that out of the way it's time to start placing all the other measurements now i'm going to come up here i'm going to come up here and then i'm going to place the shoulder measurement so the shoulder measurement is 14 14 is 7 7 uh, 14 divided by 2 is 7 so i'm going to make a mark at 7 right there okay so next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to place my bust measurement okay so the bust measurement is 33 33 divided by 4 is 8.25 all right so i'm going to come to 8.25 and i'm going to make a mark here at 8.25 the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to come to my under bust round my under bust round is 28 28 divided by 4 is 7 okay 7 times 4 28 i'm going to come down here and place it there okay so 7 divided by um 28 divided by 4 is 7 okay um, down here is my hip line. The hip I'm uh, working with is 37. 37 is is um, 9.25. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to make a mark at 9.25. Okay, and then I'm going to simply mark the same thing I mark at my hip down here. So I'm not going to taper it in like I usually do in my pencil dresses. Um, I'm going to leave it the same thing. Okay, I'm going to mark here at 9. Okay, so I've dropped the 0.25 there. And I've marked it at 9 down here. Okay, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to join all the lines together. Now, if I was making a regular pencil dress, I'm going to subtract. If I if I'm making a regular pencil dress, I'll subtract things from the hip and place down here. So down here would have been, um, that's 9.25 minus, um, minus um, 2 inches. That would be 7.25. So if it was a regular pencil dress, I'd have made a mark here at 7.25 right here. But it's not. So I'm marking the same thing I marked down here. I'm only throwing away um, the numbers that are less than one. That's the 0.25. Okay, now I'm going to connect my hip line to here and connect here to the bust. Okay, and then this is where things start to get a bit. Um... Now, you guys can see the image that we have here. All right, so if you look closely at this one here, you'll see that it's um, a halter neck. So I'm going to show you guys two ways to go about this. In case you want to make the one that has the halter neck, I'll show you how to cut it and then I would show you of course how to make the um tube all right so um first of all before i chop off the top part uh, let me show you guys how you go about all of this if you were working on um a halter neck and a halter neck um dress instead that's the one that we have in the picture right here and this is how the thing's creeping up her neck i know that her curls are blocking the way but I'm, I, I bet you can see the fabric under there all right so let's get to that okay now if this were to be um, a dress that you want to that you intend to make like a I, I also neck dress halter neck dress you, what you would do is this you will come from here okay from the from the shoulder point here you see this point from the shoulder point here okay you will come down by one inch okay and then you will make the slope from here to from this point here from this point here the beginning of the that's where the thing is where, where the, the three inch border the four inch border sorry that's where this black line i have here you'll come from here and make the slope to this part here okay and then that is where you make your armhole from okay because we need to first draw the armhole before we can make the outer neck okay so now what is the armhole that we're dealing with okay so um the bust is 33 33 divided by 6 plus um 33 divided by 6 plus 1.5 should give us around 7 okay so after that after you found the uh, bust point you're going to come down here and you're going to place the bust the armhole measurements okay so remember to find the armhole is your bust divided by 6 plus 1.5 that's how i got the 7 and then we're going to cover out at this point okay and then we're going to make the curve for the armhole okay so see this ah, sh no, no 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 sorry okay so you see that that's the armhole now when we're done with that before we start working on the outer neck what you would do is you simply add two inches everywhere now if you're a person who doesn't like to reveal um so much then you might want to go with the outer neck instead of the um the tube okay because the outer neck is going to reveal a lot less flesh than the um than the tube 
okay so now you can see I'm simply connecting the two inches I have everywhere okay this part here is a bit too sharp you don't want your lines to be too sharp okay now if you are making a if you want it to be alternate like the one you can see in the picture what you are going to do is you are going to come from here when it's time for the alternate I want it to mark 2.5 okay so you're going to come here and you're going to make a mark here at 2.5 okay so you see that just make a mark here at 2.5 and then I want you to slope the front here by 1.5 so you see this from here to here i've made the mark at 2.5 and from here notice from here not from the top of the paper from this point here i've come down by 1.5 then you're going to create small angle you see that we've connected both of them together and then you're going to simply just make a curve okay so you see that now since this is going to be an outer neck and it's going to be planted into the um, the the armhole needs to go straight into the neck. What you're going to do is after this point, you see this point here. After half inch, okay. After half an inch, you're going to make a curve, okay. Now you see this. You're going to need to make a new curve from that neckline right there all the way to the armhole. So please watch what I'm doing. I'm going to come from this neck here. We're going to curve into the armhole okay so you see if you're making the outer neck when you're cutting you cut like this and cut out okay so that is a tip for you guys if you want to make this uh, a, um, to be an outer neck but if this is going to be um, a tube okay like the one that we have on the thumbnail what you're going to simply do is this now this is the bust line if you come to this point exactly if you come to this point exactly, it's going to be a problem, okay? So you see this line here, this is the bust line. If you just come to the armhole and draw a straight line, the bust is the arm, the um, line that we would have will be too close to the bust line. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to raise all of this by three inches. That means that it's going to raise closer to your armhole. Now, armholes like this, most times, they, uh, they are meant to sit a bit lower. But if you're making a tube, you want to cover up some of your armhole. That's just what I um, suggest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise this place here by 3.5 inches should be enough. But if you want to go all the way up to 4, you can go up to 4. But 35 inches will be enough for anything you want to do. Okay? And this 5 inches includes the hemming that you are going to make. Okay? So 35 inches. Draw a straight line. Okay? And then you're going to connect here to the top. And that is it. That is pretty much it. Okay. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, you're going to come to the bottom here and add whatever hemming allowance you are comfortable with. If it's two inches you use for your hemming, you can add that at this point. If you want to make it less, you can do that as well. Okay. So that is pretty much it. Okay. Let me show you guys how you're going to cut it. Is there any need? Um, excuse me. So if you're cutting this, you're going to cut the green line that we have at the bottom here all the way down to here you are going to cut this side all the way up to here and you are going to cut on the green line above here okay now on to the next step i promised you guys some uh, tips i hope that this satisfied the question that that subscribers that um, subscriber had um on to the next step tips on how you piece all of this together okay so that, first of all let me show you how you would reel your um how you would um roll your thread onto your elastic thread onto your bobbin so i'll be back okay so this is an example of the thread that you are supposed to use okay it has um it's stretchy look at this you see that I'm not aligning anything. Okay, let me let me drag it from this side here. So you see this side here. Watch this. Okay, so you see that. I hope you can see it. Yeah, this is the trick that you would use if you want to sew something like this. Just ask them for if you're in Nigeria, ask them for elastic thread and they will give you this. And um, now the next thing is now a lot of us have machines that can help us roll our thread really really quickly onto our bobbin. Or you know, most of us that don't have it, I see use butterfly. We know now, we know, you know, you know, you know. Ah 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 were you <laughs> now okay back to <clears throat> But yeah, you don't want to use any of those um, fast methods uh, methods when you're trying to roll your thread onto your bobbin if you're trying to make a dress like this. If not, it will make the thread snap all the time when you are, when you are trying to piece everything together. Uh, so I will show you guys how you will go about that on the sewing machine. But before we do that, this is how this is how you roll the thread on. Okay, so you see this. You want to use your hand to wind it on. That's what I would advise. That's what I always do. And when you are winding it on, be sure not to drag the elastic okay so see just roll it as if 
as if the thread was the thread didn't have any elastic in it okay don't drag you see this don't drag it and do this what you want to do is just simply pick it up as it is okay and then pick it up as it is and then simply just wind it just wind it on top okay try not to engage the stretchiness that it has okay try to act like you have forgotten <laughs> that it is stretchy and just wind it on top of the thread all right so that's how you're going to go about that now let me show you guys how to position everything so that the thread turns out nicely on the sewing machine so to the machine we go now before we go to the machine the pattern that i that i um drafted earlier on should be used to cut the front and the back and you would want to cut both of them on no you should cut both of them on a fold okay so you don't run into problems so the pattern for both the outer neck and for the tube um, the pattern i showed you guys can be used to cut both um both um the front it should be used to cut both the front and the back make sure you put the fabric on the fold like i said before all right so i've already shown you guys that you have to reel um that you have to roll your your elastic thread onto the bobbin so you guys know that you don't have to thread your entire machine with the elastic thread it's going underneath and not on top okay so now what you would need to do is you're going to need to secure this now this will work with any machine you don't need an industrial machine like the one i'm using here you can use a tabletop or you can use a manual machine and it will still work just fine so you want to thread your shuttle your bobbin like so or your shuttle whatever your name you're used to and um next thing you want to do is you want to go underneath like you always do make sure you securely um you fix it um, securely under there and then just bring out the thread like you bring out any regular thread and see this okay now because you did not drag it when your shuttle is trying to bring it out okay it's going to not engage that's um that's that um the elastic that it has but if you drag it when you're trying to thread your um bobbin there'll be nothing for it to drag so it should just snap okay so make sure that you make it go you don't drag it when you're winding it around the bobbin once again okay now check what check out what happens when I do this. You see that? So you see that? Smooth and nice. Okay, look at how it has initiated the elastic around the very, very first step. Now, the more layers you make, the more uh, um, the the more smoked <laughs> it's going to look. Okay, so now. I'm going to do one more level for you guys to show you guys the spacing that you should use around your dress. So a half inch gap between the um, two levels, the first one that we have done here and the next one we're going to do will be just fine, all right? So I'm going to my second level, make sure to try to flatten it so that your lines don't dance. When you start sewing half an inch, it should be half an inch everywhere. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to simply just continue that all the way down. All right, so that's just what you want to do. So I've shown you guys um, two lines. I've shown you guys two lines. I'm going to see you guys in the next class. Simply do this all over the dress. It is a lot, and the model that I usually use doesn't want a smocked dress. So, um, yeah, but with this, I, I hope that this will be able to help somebody else um, on how to make a smocked dress. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.